Hello everybody, it's Brittany at Big Cat Rescue in Tampa, Florida, here with another home tour for you guys. Today I would like to show you Sue and Lakota Bobcats. They have a really cool cat attack here. <laughs> we love our cat puns. So these two bobcats came in from a shut down roadside zoo and they were extremely malnourished. And so because of that, we needed to make sure our traditional cage wire is this four x four galvanized steel like this. And so you'll notice with their enclosure that it is a two by four square, so much smaller. And that is just to ensure that they cannot squeeze through. Wild cats that have been either taken from the wild or uh, born and raised in a cage but still have that wild instinct are always going to want to try to get loose. Whether they would survive or not, that's a whole other story. But you'll see that this enclosure is very, very tall. And they have a lot of natural trees and things to climb on in the enclosures. And Lakota has proven himself to be a very good climber. The very first day here, nobody could find him right away and it's because he was all the way at the top of one of the trees. So we are just going to walk their enclosure as if we were the cleaner and I'll show you all the little details. So they do have some little box platforms, lower platforms, he can lay under it, in it, on it. There's a ramp and there's also an igloo den. So this is a very circular enclosure. It used to actually house some sand cats, so much smaller cats. And you can see that there's this really low sandy tunnel so they can kind of sneak and crawl through there if they want. And speaking of, here's a Lakota. Hi, Lakota. Hi. Such a sweet boy. So um, he can access the section that he's in right now or the one I just showed you via this tunnel. So same deal, it's a much bigger platform. He likes to lay under it, but he can also lay on it on any level or all the way at the top. Now this here is actually just a safety entrance. So if we ever needed to go into this enclosure to clean it or um, access something that we just can't do from the outside, we can go through this double door system and clean it up. I'm just gonna keep walking around. They love their privacy. They're very, very shy bobcats. So this is a great enclosure for them. You can see too, they have a lot of natural trees that they can scratch on and climb. Lots of grasses to provide, again, privacy and protection. They like chewing on them and hiding in them. We believe that Sue and Lakota are siblings. We don't get a lot of information on most rescues, so a lot of it can be guesswork. My guess is <laughs> this is what these bobcats have been up to. Clawing, clawing, clawing. This section is slightly lower on the roof than the first section we saw. We have this little lockout closed off um, because they have so many different water bowls that they don't need one in every single section. We'd never close them over here because they have a much bigger door that's easier to close on the other side. These cages are built with a lot of things in mind and a lot of options for shifting and separating. We do separate Sue and Lakota at feeding time. You'll see this um, tube here with the handle. We do have sprinkler systems installed on the um, enclosures as well. There's another little view of Lakota. See that bobcat tail? <laughs> so we're just now on the other side of that small tunnel. This is just one side of their enclosure. I know it's very hard for a lot of people when they watch our lives or our videos or they look at our photos. It can be a little bit deceptive on how much space these cats actually have. So that's why I've started doing these home tours. They have this much smaller little den here that has some straw in it. And in the winter time, if we needed to, we can put a heating pad in there and run electrical, which is what you see on the ground there, if needed. So this is a really fun feature. We just added this for them. So that really big ramp there 
they can go up that ramp, they go across here in this awesome tunnel. They have another ramp down the other side and we're gonna walk this whole section too. All of this is them as well. If you happen to be familiar with them and you know their rescue story, you know that they came from a very dilapidated, just miserable looking enclosure at that roadside zoo in Alabama. So they have a mansion now compared to that. Here's another feeding lockout here. So feeding lockouts are just a safe space for them. They can come in here, they eat breakfast off of the concrete slab, they can get water. Um, bobcats especially love playing with their water bowls and if they pull them out and play with them and dump them, then they don't have fresh water and we wanna make sure they have fresh water all the time. So that's really another purpose for why we put the water bowls in boxes like that. They can get to them just as easily as any other method. So again, here's the tunnel from the other side. So they have this nice big den here. And we'll just walk quickly around because I see a Sue Bobcat now. Hi Sue! Can we say hi to you on your home tour? Yeah. Hi honey. I know. Thank you for inviting us to your home. I know you look very pleased. Is that not the cutest face you've ever seen? Scary and cute. Not a pet, folks. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna let her get back to her nap, but you can see she really loves this big platform. Um, again, they can get all the way on top if they want. There's a little side shelf. There's a lower level and a ramp. And they have another fun tree. That's the same kind of tree that Small's Bobcat destroyed in her enclosure. Must be a really good kind of wood for them to claw up. Here's another massive safety entrance. So if we're gonna go in for maintenance, that's the way we're gonna do it, a double door system. So they have lots of toys they can kick around. There's even more foliage over here. A Little bit lower of a ceiling on this side as well compared to that very first one, but still a very tall enclosure. So this is actually technically the area where they do eat breakfast. These are their um, actual feeding lockouts. So Sue eats in this one 90% of the time because again, we have to drop a door and separate them at feeding. We never want the cats here to feel like they have to compete for food or fight for food. Um, they get along pretty well anyway, but we certainly never want them to accidentally hurt one another because they start thinking that they're not gonna get something that should be there, so we don't do that. That's another little tunnel with a door. That's actually the door that we close when Sue comes over here for breakfast. And another little tunnel here on the back side of the safety entrance where you saw that door. And then here is yet another little tunnel with a door so that's how they access all the different sections so this is a popular section for Lakota usually there's a nice big Kularu, yet another den they have lots of logs and ferns more toys this is the feeding lockout that Lakota eats in chicken wire around it so that none of the big birds will want to come try to steal a free snack. We always have hoses conveniently placed so that it's really easy to refill water, spray down the enclosures if we ever need to when we've planted plants or added more grass seed. Looks like another stump that they might enjoy playing with. <laughs> We're still walking around. We are still on the back side of that second system that I showed you. It curves in here. This is the back side of where Sue is on her platform. They have another extra water bowl right here. And we're back to where we started. So 
thank you guys so much for watching these home tours. I hope that they really are helping you understand that looks can be deceiving. All of this is Sue and Lakota. Even though in a photo or a video it might not look like much, it's never going to be enough. Having a wild animal in a cage just is never going to be the right thing to do. So we try to give them as much space as possible here. And if you have any other questions, just check out bigcatrescue.org slash cages.